All right, hey, what's up folks? So today I'm going to show you how to ceramic coat the lenses on the Oculus Quest. Now you can do this on any headset. Um, it's just generally a good idea to protect them from scratches and makes them easier to clean. So what I recommend, you know, you can get products that go on here and uh, stick on and protect it as well. That's fine if you wanna go that route, just something to protect these things, especially if you wear um, glasses. But um, even if you don't, it's just a good idea because this, pl this plastic isn't um, as hard as glass, but I ceramic coat them. So what I'm using here is just a uh, $30 product off of Amazon called Nano Bond, but there's a, a bunch of stuff that's similar to this. Uh, ceramic coating, if you're not familiar with it, it's for mostly for automobile surfaces. It's three times harder than the clear coat on a car. It's considered 9H hardness, whereas a uh, clear coat is 3H. So it's basically liquid glass in a bottle. It's uh, silicon dioxide or silica. So it's the main ingredient in glass. Um, it's really easy to use and I put it on everything. I put it on my watch, my, uh, my cell phone, my reading glasses, um, anything that I don't want scratched. And of course I've done a few cars with it. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it here. Uh, first, make sure your lenses are clean. There's no oil and stuff on them. You can use some alcohol. And try not to use wood-based products like paper towels and, and things like that because they can scratch things. So microfiber cloths, um, you know, good idea. Watch these things, they're dirt magnets. So make sure that there's no, you know, no, no debris in there that's going to scratch things up. You don't have to apply a lot of pressure even if they're kind of oily or dirty. Just um, wipe them down, try to get into the cracks and everything around there. Like I said, if you want to, you can put a little rubbing alcohol on there to make sure you get all the oil off. Um, it allows this to work a, a little bit better, if, you know, if there's if it's clean. So with this stuff, it's it's pretty simple. It's about like wax in a car. It's very thin liquid um, when it comes out, and then once it sets up for a couple of minutes, it it gets tacky and kind of sticky. Um, and then I use the microfiber to buff it off, which is what the instructions tell you to do. Um, so I'm going to take a clean uh, Q-tip, which these are, you know, they use cotton. Um, so it's not exactly based on a wood-based product. But then just sort of saturate this tip pretty good. I stick the tip into the of the Q-tip over the hole of the bottle and sort of tip it up a few times and get it good and, good and wet. And then just, um, just paint this basically using crisscross pattern. They call it crosshatch pattern. So you can go you know, back and forth like this in one direction, make sure you get it all covered real good, and then back and forth in the other direction um, ensures the best coverage, you know, because if you're doing circles and things like that, it works too, but you can easily forget a spot if you're doing a random circular, you know, pattern like that, and you end up with a circle inside there that you haven't hit. So this tends, this crosshatch um, suggested pattern tends to make sure you hit everything. So cut it real good there like that. And I'm gonna take the other side and do the same thing to the other lens. Real simple. Um, it's good and saturated there. Start in the corner. And it doesn't hurt to get this stuff on the outside plastic or anything like that. It, it uh, cures up very clear. It can go on any plastic. And um, it basically leaves, like I said, a, a layer of glass that's very hydrophobic and um, very hard so things don't want to stick to it and so it makes it easier to clean and it stays cleaner which is why it's the big thing on cars right now um, and then it also protects it from scratches being being as hard as it is and it's very very thin it's uh it's like molecule thin so it doesn't cause any distortions in the lenses and things like that that some of those other I feel like some of those other products that stick on and things like that, they can cause problems if you don't get them on just right, or if they weren't manufactured to the perfect tolerances. Um, it's, it's a fairly thick material. Uh, this stuff right here is, is very thin, and um, so it won't cause any distortion or anything. And, and uh, it, it doesn't really fill in cracks and scratches and things like that. So if you have a scratch on there, it's not gonna fix that because um, it's such a thin layer. It's the same thing when you do a car you want to make sure that the surface of the car is exactly how you want it because when you put this stuff on there a it won't fix anything and b it's gonna pretty much stay that way for years it's very difficult to get off um once it's put on because it's it's you know like i said it's just a little layer of glass normally when you do a car 
while we're sitting here waiting for this to kind of dry. Um, you know, this is what comes with the kit. Let me see if I can get this on here better. Sorry. Um, and it's just like a, a, a hard sponge with a soft side to it. And you wrap one of these silk cloths around it. Like it is so. So you would sort of wrap the silk cloth around it like that, making sure it's all clear, cleaner. And then you dab a few drops on this silk cloth. Um, I saturate it pretty good when I do a car and then wipe it on like that. So if you got something bigger that you want a ceramic coat to protect, you can use this method. You can put it on this bigger flat side or you can turn it sideways and use the smaller side of the block with the silk over it to, um, to work with. You know, if it's not something real big, you can also do it like that. I do helmet visors and things like that for motorcycle stuff with this too. So pro tip, hashtag pro tip. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to use on, on anything. Just going to make sure it's clear. Give it about three or four minutes to cure up. Once you put it on there like that, you can't put it on too thick. Um, cause what you're getting ready to do is going to take off all the excess and basically just leave a layer of, of the product on there. That's like super thin. Um, but you do need to let it, let it set up and cure for like 24 hours. They, uh, they advise you, you know, to keep it dry. So I'm not sure how that would work. If you, if you want to play it and you tend to sweat to the point that it fogs up your lenses, that might not be a good idea. Um, I don't get that worked up when I play, but some people do, I know, and that might affect the curing process. I'm not sure what it would really do. I've never gotten ceramic coating wet. Um, but basically, you can use it as soon as you get done, um, as long as you just keep it pretty dry. Uh, okay, so I think I've already ceramic coated these once, and it was still pretty good, so I don't really need to do this again. I just did it to show you guys how it works. You can do it as many times as you want. Um, it's such a thin layer that it wasn't really built up or anything. So I've let it set for a few minutes and, um, and it was, like I said, when it came out of the bottle, this stuff, I mean, you can hear it in there. It's like, it's like water or alcohol thin, very, very thin. And that's why it comes with a cap that, um, a double ceiling cap. So it's got this little, uh, flap with a nipple on it that goes down into the bottle's hole. And then a, another cap that goes on top to make sure it stays sealed up because if this stays open to the air, it'll dry out really quickly. Um, well, not really quickly. I mean, it's not that fast. You can do a whole car with the thing open, but um, eventually after a few days, it would dry up and turn hard. So it kind of tackies up as it dries and becomes thick. So now when I go to wipe it, and when you go to wipe this stuff, you'll depend on the product. Now other products may do this differently, but with this stuff, you'll feel it sort of draggy, like it's uh, tacky almost and sticky. But as you continue to wipe, don't push too hard, but as you continue to wipe, you'll feel it sort of get smoother and smoother and then, I'll, then it'll be, at the end, it'll be real slick, okay? So here we go. Just gently, gently. I'm using the high pile side of this microfiber. So there's usually a side that has a thicker, uh, uh, you know, fluff to it. And one side is like lower and thinner. So the thicker side tends to have more surface area and, and um, less likely to have something in it that'll scratch right there in that spot. So I'm just wiping that down. Bada bing. I can look in the glare of the light. It probably doesn't show up on the video, but I can see that it's really nice and super, super smooth there. Move over to this side, same thing. I can feel it kind of dragging there at first, but as I continue to wipe, it gets real smooth and slippery. And there you have it. So that's how easy it is. I'm, so, I'm serious. You can't go wrong with this stuff. Um, get you a bottle of that ceramic coating. I don't, I don't get anything out of this, um, you know, mentioning this product or whatever, this Nano Bond. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Nano Bond Diamond Nano Ceramic Coating. Uh, like I said, I got it off Amazon. I think it was 30 bucks for the bottle. And I've done one of these bottles that do like two cars. So uh, I did an SUV in our, in our sports car with one bottle and then I got another one just for, um, I had a little bit left over, but I got another one for doing things around the house. So there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions or if I have any updates or anything, um, that I missed, I will put it in the description below. If you have anything you want to ask in the comments, you can, you don't have to take the headgear off by the way. I did this so that, you, uh, you know, it's easier to film, 
but you can totally do this with the headgear on just you know just sort of flip it up and then you can work right here with the q-tips give it a few minutes five minutes or so and then come back and hit it with the microfiber and you're protected for several years and um it's a lot easier to keep clean as well hope you enjoyed later